This protocol will demonstrate how to grow cerebral organoids. The protocol for generating cerebral organoids using the Stem Diff Cerebral Organoid Kit has four stages, embryoid body formation, induction, expansion, and organoid maturation. This protocol is meant to be used with high quality human pluripotent stem cells that exhibit distinct borders, tight packing, and less than 10% differentiation with respect to their colony surface area. Stage 1 Embryoid Body Formation Begin this protocol by preparing EB formation medium. Rinse HPSC cultures with PBS. Aspirate and replace with gentle cell dissociation reagent. Incubate for 8 to 10 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. Transfer cells to a 50 milliliter conical tube. Prepare EB seeding medium by supplementing the EB formation medium with 10 microliters of Y27632 rock inhibitor. Rinse the well with EB seeding medium. Add to the conical tube. Centrifuge at 300 G for five minutes. Discard the supernatant and resuspend cells in EB seeding medium. Perform a cell count and add EB seeding medium to obtain a final concentration of 90,000 cells per milliliter. Aliquot 100 microliters of cell suspension into each well of a 96-well round-bottom ultra-low attachment plate using a multi-channel pipette. Incubate at 37 degrees Celsius. After 24 hours, embryoid bodies ranging from 100 to 200 micrometers in diameter should be present in each well. On days two and four, Feed the embryoid bodies by adding 100 microliters of EB formation medium to each well. Observe embryoid bodies under a microscope. The EBs should be between 400 to 600 micrometers in diameter with smooth, round, translucent edges. The embryoid bodies are now ready for stage two. Stage two, induction. At this stage, prepare induction medium. Add the induction medium to each well of an ultra-low attachment 24-well plate. Use a wide bore 200 microliter pipette tip to obtain EVs from a 96-well plate. Transfer one EB to each well. Carefully inject the medium from the pipette tip, but retain the EB. Shake the plate side to side three to four times to ensure even EB distribution. Incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for two days. After two days in the induction medium, EBs should be visible to the naked eye, being 500 to 800 micrometers in diameter and having smooth, translucent edges. This indicates neuroepithelium formation. The EBs are now ready for embedding in Matrigel. Stage three, expansion. Prepare expansion medium. Saw growth factor reduced matrigel on ice and place in the fridge for one to two hours or overnight. Use sterile stem cell embedding sheets or create your own using parafilm. If using parafilm, create indentations as shown. Place the sterile embedding surface onto a sterile, empty 100 millimeter dish. Transfer the EB from the well to embedding surface using a wide bore 200 microliter pipette tip.
arrange the droplets as shown. Remove the excess medium using a standard bore 200 microliter pipette tip. Add 15 microliters of ice cold matrigel to each EB. To prevent EBs from drying up and matrigel from solidifying, embed no more than 12 to 16 organoids at a time. Center the EBs within the droplet. Incubate the matrigel droplets at 37 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Use sterile forceps to grasp the matrigel embedding sheet. Gently wash the matrigel droplets off the sheet and into the well with the expansion medium. Repeat for all matrigel droplets. For difficult to remove droplets, gently nudge the droplet and wash simultaneously. Incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for three days. The EB will display a budding morphology after three days. This indicates neural epithelium expansion. Stage four, organoid maturation. For this stage, prepare maturation medium. Carefully remove all medium from wells using a serological pipette on the slowest setting. Take care not to disturb the matrigel. Add three milliliters of maturation medium per well of a six well plate. Completely replace with fresh medium once every three to four days. Place the organoids on an orbital shaker in a 37 degree incubator. Set the shaker speed as indicated in the product information sheet and ensure that the organoids do not rock against the walls of the well. Cerebral organoids will continue to grow and reach a size of approximately 3 to 4 millimeters in diameter after 30 days in the maturation medium. Now, let's review how the organoid morphology changes throughout the protocol. At day 10, organoids display budding morphology, which indicates expanding neural epithelia. At day 15, the expanded neural epithelia buds merge, and the organoid displays a denser core. At day 20, organoids will be over 750 micrometers in diameter. Small rosettes may be observed. At day 30, organoids will reach over one millimeter in diameter and develop a dense core with the appearance of layered structures. Cerebral organoids can be cultured beyond day 40 and will reach a size of approximately three to five millimeters in diameter. At this point, the organoids are very dense and dark in the center and maintain cortical layering. Organoids that do not form properly display clear cysts and do not reach a size of greater than one millimeter by day 40. Day 40 is the typical time point where we observe cortical layering with PAC6 positive progenitors lining a central ventricle distinctly separated from TUJ1 positive neurons. The Stem Diff Cerebral Organoid Kit generates cerebral organoids that mimic the human brain. For more information, please visit www.stemcell.com.